In this video, we're looking at direct proportions. Now what that means is as one quantity increases, so too does another quantity. Or, as one quantity decreases, so too does another quantity. So we're going to stick that over here and look at the problem written up at the top. Ginevra can write 18 Quidditch articles in 1.25 hours. How many can she write in 225 minutes? We set this up in a 2x2 two two table because we have two categories of information. We have hours and we have number of articles. Time information is given here and here. Article information is there and it's what we're looking for. In 1.25 hours, Ginevra can write 18 Quidditch articles. Now, be careful with the second set of information. We have it in minutes. We have to convert to have the same units everywhere. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 225 divided by 60 gives us 3.75 hours. So 3.75, and we're looking for the number of articles. It's unknown, so we write x as our variable. Now to solve this, we stack our information hours on hours, articles on articles. That gives us 3.75 over 1.25 is equal to x on 18. Now when you do the stacking, you want to do it in the order where x ends up on the top of a fraction. It makes your life easier. To solve this problem, we isolate for x. To do that, we multiply both sides by 18 like this. What this does is it cancels out our 18s on this side and gives us 18 times 3.75 on 1.25 equals x. Now typing into your calculator, 18 times 3.75 gives us 67.5 over 1.25 equals x. Last step, Type it into your calculator, and you'll find that x is equal to 54. So that means that in 225 minutes, Ginevra can write 54 Quidditch articles. In front of the decimal place, there can only be a single digit, and it has to be non-zero. And we could have a positive or negative number, and we have to have times a power of 10. But there's a less famous but equally fundamental number known to anyone who's taken high school algebra. It's about 2.718281828459045 and, and, and so on.